Hey everyone on the Purple Road, thanks for joining me today. Of course, I'm gonna take you to another fun, spectacular gallery, but before I do that, I want you to understand that we're here to explore not only art, but food, fun, culture, and I am here in Canary Row at this Monterey, California, which is right next door to Carmel, and I'm in the mood for something sweet. I'm in the mood for some fun, for energy, and I'm gonna take you to a place that all the locals are raving about. Let's go. And this is it everybody, Rock and Roll Donuts. I'm so excited, let's go inside and enjoy a special treat. Smell. Because it's Rock and Roll Donut Bar, you gotta do things right. So you got your family restroom with mom and dad donut, <laughs> baby punk rocker. Yeah. Okay. And then you got your all genders punk rocker, hot chick. But most importantly, you've got history of Monterey right here. Come on in. History of Monterey. In 1967, you had the Monterey International Pop Music Festival, which is the first place that Jimi Hendrix lit his guitar on fire for the whole world. It's two years before Woodstock. That happened in Monterey. So you had oh. Hendrix, Jefferson Airplane, The Who, The Grateful Dead, Janis Joplin, The Mamas and Papas, all these amazing bands yes. for four days here for $6.50. Six dollars and fifty cents. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's, right? Can you imagine seeing all this for six dollars? No way! Not possible. <laughs> Not possible. This is rad. I love this. <laughs> well, that's super fun. Oh, this one looks yeah. fun. S'mores. Look at that campfire with the pretzels. That is so creative. So here we have Cookie Monster. <laughs> super fun for the kiddos. All right, and then this is what happens when Wifey designs a donut. You've got chocolate filling, chocolate glaze, chocolate ganache, chocolate whip, chocolate sprinkles, and chocolate bonbon, naturally called Death by Chocolate. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm a fan of her. She needs to design more donuts because this, that's heaven right there. <laughs> she, she knows what she's doing. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us at Thank the Rock and Roll Corner Bar this morning. Oh, I'm grateful to have you here. I'm grateful to be here. Cheers. Cheers to you, Scott. Thank you so much. Thank you. Donuts and beer. Did I you, mean... Did you wake this morning thinking that you would have a beer with your donut? Never. I did not. However, I'm glad I am. <laughs> This is not going to be my last <laughs> now. <laughs> Now, I should go get napkins. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the best, one of the best stops that the Purple Road has made. I'm satisfied. I had this craving for sweet Scott. Uh -huh. you really, you nailed it. Nice. Thank you. thank you. This is what all the locals are raving about, and I could totally see why. Uh, thank you. You're sweet. <laughs> thank, yeah. you. thank you. Thank you, Purple Road. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the art show. And. And here we are on the corner of 6th and Dolores at Reason Fine Art Gallery. We're here to experience all these pops of color and some really unique and incredible art. Come with me this way. Let's go. Purple Road, I'd love
love to introduce to you Lisa and Greg. Greg Creason, who is the artist that we will be introducing and talking about all his awesome, unique, exquisite art today. Thank you guys for having us Absolutely. and for putting Purple Road on the map. I'm just really, really thrilled and excited and honored to have you guys featured on our channel. Thank this you. This is a really fun gallery. Well, when you came to us about Purple Road, we were excited about the fact of what you guys are, are offering and an opportunity for people to see galleries in a different way. So I'm very grateful that you approached us and we have this opportunity with you guys. Oh, wonderful, thank you. I received that from my heart. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. <laughs> uh, basically, how I got started with the glass work was basically by mistake. Um, I got sober about six years ago and I've been painting for 30 years and doing during the process of, of my journey of sobriety mm -hmm. I started taking chances on things that obviously what I was doing at the time wasn't working so I started taking chances and taking risks and that's pretty much how this whole process has came about as far as the gallery goes is oh, all wow. been about risk. Let's, do you mind if we kind of take yeah, yeah. yeah, let's talk about the glass uh, process because this one here, I see lots of glass. So this is the most recent one. It's called Paisley Moon. Paisley Moon? Paisley Moon, yeah. We took a chance on finding some glass blowers. So I actually found a glass blower that um, we could work together where I could actually find the materials I was looking for. Uh -huh. ah, okay. So it's all waste glass, mainly. So you're kind of doing something for the environment yeah, too. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> so then, but these are from thrift stores. And uh, I'll just, oh. wherever we do our journey to find stuff to actually make it work. Some pieces that have a lot of glass on them, like the mm -hmm. one over here. Yeah. The tulips is... piece, this one. Mm -hmm. Or a lot of glass treatment up here, but it still concentrates on the subject. Yeah. So a lot of it has to do with the reason why I paint women. I fall in love with my wife a hundred times a day and us men are not allowed to talk about that because we're not trained as we grew up as males to express those kind of uh, issues. So for me, um, I really wanted to paint the essence of a woman, the things that I find very unique and very different. Mm -hmm. and Hold I'm on really quick. Did you hear that? He falls in love with his wife a hundred times a day. I think you're going to need him to uh, create a book now. <laughs> I have a book and we're going to make this thing well, I got, out to every man. Yeah. I, got, I got the woman's book and I read the intro and then they took it away from me. So I never got a chance to get the whole, whole, whole book. I'm really trying to empower women by the work that I do, not to take away from who they really are and let them express themselves for who they really are, because that's really important. Now you might see a camel in here. If you want this vulgar grandma over here. <laughs> There's three different dishes in here. There's the Murano glass, there's this green old candy dish, 